What's up guys? We are here again. We come back and uh, this week basically I'm going to teach you guys like uh, how pass close guard. But before you pass the close guard, you have to unlock the guy's leg. So exactly this, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Like it's really, really, really basic stuff and usually it's the first pass that I teach everyone when you come to the gym for the first time. All right, and by the way, actually, when you pass, you got the full mount. When you go the full mount, you're gonna finish on the arm bar. All right. All right. The first thing, all right, that I have to do, to do over here is make sure my balance, my base is really good. All right. So when I, I'm inside his legs, like I can't put my knees really close to each other because they're gonna be out of balance. Okay. So what I like to do is, is really split my legs as much as I can that I have a really good base. And another thing after this I have to worry about is make sure Carlos is not gonna move his hips side side or sit up because I need guy control for his motion. So what I do is I open up his gi, put the lapella together, put the lapella inside my hands and control with my arm in 90 degree and try to control him. Now he tries to sit up, I can hold him, all right? After that, the next step is gonna be his leave. A lot of guys like to do like this grip or like uh, four fingers, but like with the arm under my arm. I don't like, what I like to do is, got four fingers and basically I put my knuckles on his forearm. And like, we like punch him that way. This way, try to move your arm, he can. All right, now really quick, the same side I gotta control his arm, I lifted up my leg, look to the ceiling, lift the other one, let it go, the lapel. I cannot keep hold here, because if I do, he go really quick to the arm bar, because the arm is right there, boom. All right, so I let it go. The other thing I have to worry about is my elbow. I cannot put my arm outside his leg, he can go to a platter, so I put my elbow in between his legs. All right, now I put my knees together a little bit, and it's like I put a little bit of pressure behind his butt. A lot of guys like to go like elbow. I don't like because the only thing you're gonna cause him is pain, all right? If the guy has a strong leg, the pain's not gonna be affected at all. So what I like to do is put my hand, really drop his leg. As soon as his leg pass my knee, I drop my leg and I hook his leg. The next step is, I'm gonna hook his neck, got my other hook, and I have the other leg that I have to put it out. But before I put this hook here out, I need to make sure this leg come out first. Why many? Because if I do this hook out, you're gonna close half guard. And actually, I'm start over about the pass guard. So got here, and I'm gonna just put this knee on the bottom, close to his body, and I just sit down on my side. Now, I'll put my second hook out, and come my knee close to his hips, okay, he cannot recover his guard, all right? For the mount, what I like to do is, I put his arm on the top of the leg, pass my arm over, bring his arm on the top of his face, and now basically I trap his both arms. I lay down on the side, hold my foot, cross, and got a full mount. All right? The next step is the arm bar. Why do I like to do this? Because now look, for the arm bar, the only thing that I have to do is, is drop my weight on his arm, you know? I love to do this because now, doesn't matter how big he is, he cannot move his arm at all. Try to move your arm, Carlos. I have a lot of pressure on him. Now I have this arm for support my base and also help me to move too. So then my next step for the go-to arm bar, I'm gonna move this leg on the top his head. Use the other one for moving up, up, and I got S mount. 
Basically, you guys can see the arm bar is right there. I like to go to the wrist, hold my collar, lean forward, pass my leg over, and fall. Arm bar is really tight. Alright guys, this was the, the pass that you usually teach over here when you come to the gym and never trained before, you know, as I can tell you guys, this is like a, my really, really like a beginning program. Uh, the last week I teach you guys copy stuff for the close guard and this week basically I teach like a, how you pass close guard and this way we understand a little bit like how you can play in Jiu Jitsu because I don't know you guys probably know uh, jiu Jitsu can fight just two ways. One, you're gonna be on the bottom. That means you're gonna do guard. And another way is you're gonna be on the top. That means you have to pass the guy guard. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy it and see you guys next week. Peace out.